Alrighty guys, welcome back to Zeref Plays. We are finally back. I'm sorry it's been a while. Life stuff, you know. But today we are playing a game called Supernatural. I have no idea what this is about. It looks scary. I had to do a whole bunch of voice recognition setup, so I'm guessing it's going to be utilizing our voice. But let's get straight into it. I've been a huge fan of your work, especially that Sakamoto case. The way you cracked it was pure genius. Your dedication is legendary, and that's why I knew you were the right person to reach out to. I've got this strange situation at my place that's been keeping me up at night. Well, Colton, I appreciate the kind words. Nice to meet you. Now, tell me, what's going on? about Mrs. Susan, like I mentioned in the email. The lady helping my pregnant fiance, Kaylee, and me around the house. We brought her in because she seemed very lonely. Holy shit, it's a hurricane going on out there. Living right next to our house. About a week ago, she disappeared, gone. Not answering calls, missing her usual hours. Disappeared for a week? Yeah, that's definitely cause for concern. Anything unusual about her behavior before she vanished? Yeah, that's the thing. She started acting strangely, calling us by different names, humming these bizarre tunes. It really freaked out Kate. She went to stay with her parents for a bit. I couldn't just leave Mrs. Susan alone. I thought maybe it's dementia or something. Can you look into it, Detective? Oh, and don't worry about Bashka. Hopefully, she'll still be sleeping when I get back in a few hours. But I gotta warn you. She can be one noisy little girl sometimes. I understand, Colton. I love dogs, and I'll start an investigation right away. You go be with Kaylee. And about the money, don't worry. We'll find Mrs. Susan. She's been like a grandmother to you two, right? Absolutely, Detective. She's been like family. We don't have much, especially after buying this house. But Mrs. Susan means everything to us, you know? Well, I'm heading straight to Kaylee's parents now. Please, give me a call as soon as you find out anything. We're really worried about her. Okay. Straight off the bat, this is horrible. <laughs> this is horrible. This looks incredible. Whoa, that sensitivity's a bit high. What the fuck is going on outside? To open and close door, drag with the mouse button or the right stick on the controller. Okay. Whoa, one sec. I've just got to adjust this sensitivity. That's crazy. Okay, that's better. You can turn the lights on using light switches. Okay. What the fuck is going on out here? God damn, dude. I love how everybody's just like acting like that's normal. Alrighty. Okay, open and close doors. Alright. This looks incredible. Incredibly terrifying. What the fuck? Okay, this is the other room. Is that bro? What the fuck have I got myself into? Oh, no, 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 no. little fucking dog just snoring. Keep that light on. What the hell, man? Oh, shit! 
shit, no. Oh, shit. Little pup, help me. Teddy ski. Move the camera to find a clue. To examine it, hold down the zoom button. Keep in mind there are more, there may be more than one clue in a viewpoint. Hello, this is an automated message from Pulse Grainer Bank. We regret to inform you that your mortgage payment for the property is currently overdue for $95,331. Oh, shit. Please be advised that it is imperative to settle this outstanding payment as soon as possible to avoid any further. Oh, shit. Your prompt attention to this matter is greatly appreciated. If you have any questions or concerns regarding your mortgage payment, please do not hesitate to contact our customer service department. Thank you for your cooperation. He wasn't lying about their financial situation. Dude, that's hectic. $95,000 in debt? Uh, I'm stuck. Oh, no. Oh, there's supposed to be more clues. Oh, there we go. Alright. Can't use voice recognition feature at the moment. Okay. I don't know if that's all those fucking, all that shit that's hitting outside, like hitting the house, or if I'm genuinely hearing shit. That's not fucking ominous at all, what the fuck? That's freaking me out, dude. Got a broken window. Hello? Dude. Is there a fucking light switch? Yep. Oh, that's for that one. What the fuck was that? Bro, this is like next level shit shit right here. Oh man. Sorry if I'm not talking too much guys. This is fucked. Hello? Alright, I don't want to go down there. kids room man because this is exactly where I want to be What's that robotski dude all right let's face our fears I'm so fucking on edge right now Oh fuck, that picture scared the fuck out of me. Light switch. Alright, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Let's 
close this motherfucking door. Oh man. I hear a door. I hear I fucking heard a door open. There's so many sounds, I don't know what's what <laughs> no. that not now okay you don't have to speak so loud dude I'm right here Fine. I can relate final notice okay I hope everything works out for them yeah that's hectic dude nothing in here. Whoops. Why can't I lean? Hello? Oh, there we go. Child victim? God, please, no. These drawings are unsettling. Yeah, 100%. They have a child they didn't tell me about? Interesting. Oh, please. And all the clues in the laundry, okay. Shark ski. Oh, dude, I really don't want to be here. Oi, I saw a symbol on the fucking wall. Or was that just the flashing of the light? I'm not sure. Oh, fuck. You know what's hectic? That closet door's open now. I swear that wasn't open when I walked past the other way. Close this motherfucking door. Holy shit. Dude, I'm terrified. This is crazy. How long do I have to wait? sound of a child. Probably the client's fiance. Why is it written here? How long do I have to wait? Fuck. Different date, same ultrasound. This time it says the truth will come out soon. I have a feeling this case is closely tied to the client's fiance. Oh shit! Dude! I hate those sounds. Holy shit! I heard another door open.
Oh my god, I'm so on edge. I should be narrating a lot more, but this is fucked. I can't keep up with this. This is hectic, dude. All these fucking sounds. Puppy, please help. Whoa, you snore loud. That is like the loudest refrigerator I've ever fucking heard. So I don't exactly know what I'm supposed to be doing. Fucking God. say just occurred if there's no going back you have to face what you signed up for the fuck does that mean I'm not ready I'm not ready a fucking door just opened You guys hear that? Two hours again. Katsuki is three. Alright, Katsuki three. Let's get the fuck out of here. Fuck. Ah! Oh my fucking god! <laughs> oh fuck! Bro! 
find cat ski and chicken ski or oh, chicken ski and some fucking other motherfucker. Holy shit. Papa I need your help. Who's that? Tedeschi. Fish ski. Oh, please, no. Fish ski is zero. Oh, fuck. Oh wait, there's one right there. Who's that? Clownski. He's number five. <laughs> Holy shit! This is fucked. This is like next level shit. <laughs> I don't want to go in here. I swear to God, one more time and I'm fucking quitting this shit. I swear to fucking God. Who are you? Kulski. What number are you, Kulski? Nothing. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Chikensky is number eight. All right. Bro. Bro. Fuck, that music's getting intense. I hate this game. I fucking hate this game. Oh, 
no! Okay. Who is that? Rabbit ski. Rabbit ski's number two. Get fucked. Oh my god. Oh god. Just open the fucking door. Oh no 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 no. Back to shit. Shark ski six. I wonder if that's enough, if that's all of them or. Oh, please, God. Oh, fuck! Oh, that's so loud. Chickenski, cowski, rabbitski. Chickenski, eight. Cowski. I don't have fucking cowski. Shit! Kowski, I found it. Uh, nine. Oh, that noise is fucked. Oh, shit. Ah! Oh, oh my god. Get me the fuck out of this place. Right the fuck now. God damn it, dude. Good fuck right off. Down again. Okay. Eight, nine, two, six, three. It should be zero, seven, four, one, five. Babe, is Kaylee home? Have you fixed your cam yet? I was thinking we could have a little, you know, hour time while she's away. Oh, hey, Bella. Yeah. Kaylee's with her parents tonight. What's up? You sound a bit off, babe. Is everything okay? I was really looking forward to seeing you. Yeah. Just a bit tired. You know, it's been a hectic day. Tired, huh? You sure? You sound like something's up. I was really hoping to come over. 
I was really hoping you Disney to come over here. <laughs> Mrs. Susan is missing. Mrs. Susan is missing? You're being a bit vague, babe. I was really hoping to spend some alone time with you. What's the real story? Look, it's just not a good night and I need to take it easy. Can we catch up some other time? Sure, but you're not fooling me. Why are you being so distant? We had plans and now you're backing out? Bill, it's not the right time. I promise we'll make up for it. I need to go. I catch up later. Kaylee won't be thrilled about this. No. Okay. So what can we do now? The fucking dog is gone. Where the fuck is that? Oh, that must be the staircase. I can just see that. Holy crap. Oh no. The cops fucking barking at the fucking washing machine. Oh shit. A giggle. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, I'm not ready for this. Oh, I hate turning around in these games. Why does it feel like I can run faster now? Oh, it's like his shift was being stuck down. Come on, bud. What? <laughs> what? It's okay, bud. It's okay. Come on, bud, come with me. This is some messed up shit. I can't believe it's gonna make me giggle search that. <laughs> Tragic loss sparks a community's reflection on mental health. On July 15, 2020, a small town of Greenfield, Pennsylvania, was rocked by a tragedy that left its residents in shock and mourning. Eight years old, uh, 80 years old Miss Susan Crawler, a beloved member of the community, had taken her own life by hanging herself from a tree in the backyard. The news of her passing spread quickly throughout the town with many struggling to come to terms with the loss of such a cherished member of their community. Miss Crawler was known for her kind heart and generosity towards others. She volunteered at the local senior center 
where she spent countless hours knitting blankets and scarves for those in need. Her neighbours described her as a gentle soul, who always had put a, had a smile on her face and a warm greeting for everyone she encountered. However, despite her outgoing personality and dedication to helping others, Miss Crawler struggled with depression and anxiety for much of her life. She had been receiving treatment for these conditions, but it seems that even with therapy and medication, she could not find peace within herself. In the days following her death, the town came together to honor Miss Crawler's memory. A memorial service was held at the local church where dozens of people gathered to pay tribute to her. Many spoke of her, of how, many spoke of how much she meant to them and how her impact would be felt for years to come. Two years later, the wounds of Miss Crawler's suicide are still raw in the hearts of those who knew her best. While there is no easy answer to why someone would take their own life, it is clear that mental health struggles can affect anyone, regardless of age or circumstance. It is hoped that Miss Crawler's tragic passing, more attention will be brought to the importance of mental health awareness and resource. Far out, dude. Let's look on the cameras again. I'm fucking. I'm gonna see some shit, and it's not gonna be fucking great. Dog's back in her bed. Okay, good, 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 good. God. What is that that I'm hearing? It sounds wet. It actually sounds mushy. What the fuck? Is that sound? Hello? Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. Miss Crawler. Oh <laughs> no! <laughs> From now on, Mike. Take noise so that you can communicate with the fuck off! Leave me alone! What are you doing? What? Can you hear me? Oh shit! Oh, 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 oh.
I think we died. Alrighty guys, I think this is where we're gonna leave it. If you have enjoyed this, please leave a like and subscribe. And we'll definitely make a part two if everybody's interested. But right now this is fucked. I need a break! Ah! Alright, fuck this. I'm out. Have a good one guys. Bye.